Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1926, which is a super hard level where we have 30 moves to clear out 53 jelly. And there are quite a few things that make that kind of tough. Uh, the first one is this magic mixer, also known as an evil spawner. Right now we can't even get to it to make hits against it because it's protected by these licorice locks. It, however, can get to us for every three turns that we take that we don't hit it, it'll start spewing out more licorice locks. The good news is that um, once we do hit it five times, it'll explode and give us some space. And with that space, what I hope to do is make a color bomb combo, maybe a color bomb wrapped with an orange wrapped, that would be nice, because I have to take out this licorice and then I have to take out the chocolate underneath it. This looks like a pretty good setup. It's not great, but I see that I can open up the purple and the orange and get close into here. And now if I can keep striking it, then it can't do me damage. Like here, I hit it once, and I hit it twice. If I can keep hitting it um, and hit it five times, it'll blow up. There we go. There. So we got the cascade to help us out. And now I need to focus on the specials that I can make. I could do a striped here, and two stripes together, even if they're in the wrong direction, could help us. In Candy Crush, two wrongs make a right. Um, oh, I think, look at all this red. How can I get... Uh, I want to drop that red down one and make a color bomb instead. I can't, but maybe I can make a striped wrapped and try to take this out a bit could still try for a color bomb, but I just don't see how to get it to go. Okay, let's see. Come on, red. Nope, it's not working. Hold on. Nope, but I got a stripe draft combo. Now as soon as I open this up, the problem is that the um, chocolate's going to grow at me, and there's not much I can do about that unless I can get more specials to set up here. Come on. But it can only grow in this little isolated area. Now hold on a minute, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't have to deal with that anymore because it's just the frosting or the jelly I have to get to. And there's nothing under there, so I don't have to worry about that. Well, that's an epiphany. So this just went from a super hard level to a pretty hard level. If I could do a stripe draft combo in here, I think I'd be pretty well set. If, and it's going to be tough to do, so I have to try to set it up. I've got a lot of blue and a lot of purple going on. Not quite in the right spots. <sighs> now I've got a lot of blue and a lot of nothing. Okay, but I just had an epiphany, so I can try again with my new knowledge and see about taking things out. Uh, this time though I'm going to um, go ahead and exit and re-enter over and over until I get a better setup for myself. Because if I start with a good setup then I'll um, hopefully be able to have a better finish. And I can do that, I can, you know, I've got two lives. I can go in, I could even bring, so I have 225 color bombs. I'm just doing this as an example. I could go in and I could bring a color bomb. And when I leave, I'm still going to have two lives and 225 color bombs. Two lives, 225 color bombs. I'll take it off now. I don't, um, I don't get penalized for using that until I take my first turn, as long as it's not a timed level. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and I'll meet you back here when I find a setup that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to try this because I think I can get a striped draft combo that's going to strike this and take this out right away, plus of course clear out a lot of other stuff. And now all of this is opened up. I don't care if the chocolate grows because I don't have anything there I need to worry about. I can make another wrapped candy or I could make a striped. The raft is going to hit this, so I'm going to go for it. As a matter of fact, that's now gone. So now I have 26 moves to try to construct everything else. I was so close. 
and I could make a raft here, but the striped raft comma isn't nearly as potent on this side now, although it will help me to clear out that area. Yep, let's go ahead and do it. And then I'm also changing this side of the board because this side of the board wasn't looking great yet. Okay, so now what can I do? I can bring more. No, that red didn't work. Can we take out the blue or the green? I'm going to go this way. Oh, that red. That was close to working. Well, I can at least make a stripe. It's not going in the right direction and it's not aimed well. But I may still be able to pull it off here. I think I can get a color bomb. Okay, I have a color bomb. Now what can I do with that color bomb? Hmm. What if I can take this out? Then it would be sitting the blue together. I'm actually going to do this. It'll take that out. Oh, well, that's great. Might as well match that with the purple right here. That'll still take out a color to concentrate things down. And I still didn't open this. Uh, I think I got this. Boom, that's done, and that's done. So this became so much easier for me when I realized that I don't have to take this out. And if I do take it out, as long as I clear out all of the rest of the jelly, it doesn't matter if it continues to grow chocolate. So with that perspective, hopefully it'll be a bit easier for you. This was my sixth playthrough, but my third playthrough after I figured out that trick. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks so much for watching.